In this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like if you run that initial scanning script. So I already have my virtual machine up and running here. And remember, if you're also running a virtual machine, you might need to go to Devices, USB Devices, and then tick the device that is your thumb drive with all of your system binaries. All right, so let's go ahead and open a terminal. And I'll go ahead and become root. And I can see from running the mount command that my device was already mounted. So there's no need to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and change to the appropriate directory, which is very long. And once again, I will exec bin bash, my known good bash shell. And now I'm going to go ahead and set my path. So I will export path equals dollar sign pwd slash sbin colon dollar sign pwd slash bin export ld library path equals same story lib64 lib and now i should be ready to go ahead and run my script so i'll start by sourcing my setup script setup client and recall that I need to give it at least the IP address for the other side. So now that's set up. Now on my forensics workstation, I will go ahead, bring up my listeners. So I will call start case and I'll start case 2015 3-9. That's all started. Going back here, I can go ahead and run my script. Again, remember I have to type bash because there was no shebang. So I'll run bash on my script, which is also in bin. I've copied it over and it's called initial scan sh and it requires no parameters. You might notice a couple of warnings popping up as it runs. That's normal and it's already done. So if I go back to my forensics workstation, and I do an ls, I will see a new directory for my case that I just created right here. So I will cd to that directory. And now I can use my favorite editor. For now, I'm just going to pull it up my log in VI. And you'll see it goes through and it sends a command and gives you the log information, it tells you that the date and time. And it was Pentester Academy Linux appears to be running Ubuntu 1404 and it has a couple of interfaces. It has two wired interfaces, mostly because it's in a virtual box. And we have some information on active connections. And we'll have a lot of information on ports. Scan ahead to the next session. All right. So here's our open file list. We'll see quite a few of those. And we'll search for our next section. Here's our PS command output, our internal routing table, the results of running route, and here are all the installed modules, diff free information, and what else do we have? We have W information. It looks like just John is logged on. He's not doing anything particularly interesting. And here's the login information. Who's been logging into the system and when? Here's the password file. And here's the shadow file. So there you have it. Some basic information collected in a matter of a couple of minutes. So now the real work begins. Now you want to take this information and analyze it on your forensics workstation. And that's the subject of a future video. So that's all for this video.